everybody. Joy, pain, life, and family. Let's talk about it. God, love, the church. Let's talk about it. Society, city, the country, the world. Let's talk about it. You, me, us, our kids. Let's talk about it. Hello friends and family and loved ones, thank you and welcome to Let's Talk About It. I'm your host, Minister Valentine. I know you wonder why am I wearing this t-shirt, God belong in my city. If you want to know, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back and we will talk about it. I'm your main man, T1. Join me September the 3rd, 2 o'clock p.m. right here at Treaty Oak Park as we gather for one reason right here in our city, by praying. You guys do not want to miss this. It's going to be inspiring, be uplifting, be powerful, and be groundbreaking. Could you just imagine on one day, one cause, as one people, to lift up one prayer to the heavens? Be here September the 3rd, Jacksonville, Florida, Treaty Oak Park. Google it. Be blessed. See you there. Hello, friends and family, and welcome back to Let's Talk About It. Today, I'm here with my man, Jimmy. What's up, Jimmy? What's going on? I'm here with the youth pastor. Pastor Giovanni. Pastor Giovanni. Yes, sir. <laughs> How y'all fellas you? doing? We're good. doing good, brother. We're doing good. We have, we're, we're excited to be here. Um, you gave us the opportunity to come out to your show. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be here. So I know uh, we got on these uh, these shirts, uh, God Below in My City. Yeah. But before we uh, uh, tap into the reason why we're wearing this shirt, we know that we are wearing them for a reason. There's a purpose behind it. But tell me, what do you do, man? Where, where do you fellowship at? We fellowship at a Spanish congregation called Iglesia Tempo de Alabanza. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> Iglesia Tempo de Alabanza. Uh -huh. Our pastor's name is Pastor Suro, David Suro Jr. Okay. Uh, we've been there for, I think, about a year. Um, and in our location, in our location, but we've been existing for 13 years. Yes, um, in Jacksonville. So it's a blessing. It's a blessing to be part of this, and um, we're doing this this movement called God Belongs in My City. Okay. And which okay. We'll be talking a little bit later about that. All right. Talk to me, Pastor. Hey, Amen. Well, I've uh, been youth pastor uh, with my wife uh, over at our church. Okay. Uh, which the translation is uh, Temple of Praise. Oh, cause and, I was going. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> I know you were. And. Um, uh, been uh, working hard with the youth and, and really good. connecting in the recent past here with my brother uh, Alan Alan Diaz uh, big time on this God Belongs in My City movement. Yes, I uh, love it. And, uh, and we're really excited because I've been in Jacksonville uh, most of my life yes. and I believe that God wants to do something humongous in our city. Yes, you know, uh, uh, when I heard about this story, you know, God knows that I have a heart for the youth. And just when I heard this story, it just did something in me. And when I spoke to you on the phone, and, and just to hear the excitement and the move of God, mm -hmm. what about the, what took was about to take place here in the city of Jacksonville, but what have already took place in other cities? Yes, but tell me, tell me, what is God belong in my city? Tell me, what, what is this all about? Well, God belongs in my city is a movement that started in New York. Okay. Uh, a group of uh, a group of atheists, a campaign, an advertisement that said, "A million New Yorker without God, are you one?" So three young people rose up and fired up, upset, a holy discontent. Um, so you tell me an atheist? Yeah, a group of atheists. A group of atheists. And, and to my understanding, they were posting signs all the, over the city? No, Come no. On. Well, they, they, were, they were posting signs on subways okay. uh, saying a million New Yorkers without God. A million New Yorkers. I'm a million God. New Yorkers. And I'm sorry, I'm from New York, so... Okay, go ahead, man. No, <laughs> oh, we fine. My accent is a little right. bit different. Well, go ahead, okay. go ahead. Um, and so these, uh, these fired up young people went back to the youth pastor and said, look, we can't allow this to happen. What can we do? And so they started brainstorming in the office and they said, why don't we do a statement, a shirt that says God belongs in, a, in my city. God belongs God in, belongs my, in city. my city. My, my. And so the youth pastor had a network of 300 youth pastors already. So he was able to mobilize 1,500 young people in a matter of two weeks in the city of Manhattan, from south, from north, going to Grand Central Station, wow. going to Rockefeller Center. Amen. And, and ever since that, you know, now technology, you got YouTube, Vimeo, Amen. And, and, um, and people started watching it and they said, hey, how can we do this? Amen. This ministry now is nationwide. Yes. Uh, Texas, California, Canada, Netherlands, Germany. 
Amen. All these cities are adapting this vision, and what they're doing is they're doing a prayer walk. Oh, now, before we get into that, tell me about these three young, these three young teenagers, uh, these three young kids. I mean, were they upset? Were they all mad? Or uh, they did were, they get on the phone? Yeah. What type of networking? I mean, how, how they came about with I would, I would classify that as just indignation. Okay. That, oh, that's whole, that holy anger, yes. you know, that they said to themselves, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this. I have to do something. Yes. And, uh, and, and, and that's really what's inspired this whole movement throughout the, throughout the nations. It's not something that we are battling against someone or, or, or one person, but the word talks about our war is not against flesh and blood, yes. but against principalities, Amen. rulers of the darkness of this age. Amen. And and with that concept, they realize, you know what, there's an atmosphere out there that they have to conquer and conquest for the glory of God. So How, I, how old are they? I, what do, are you, they? do you remember how old Teenagers, I believe, they were in their 16s, like the teens. Wow. Yeah, teens. And imagine holy boldness. Uh -huh. Holy boldness. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Not compromising. That's right. Sir. But what can we do? What can we do? Let's 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 make a shirt that says God belongs in my city. So they got a contact with with this uh, youth pastor, mm -hmm. their, their own youth pastor, which mm -hmm. was which was my church back in the days. Um, okay. To to that church. What's his name? What's uh, the name of the church? Uh, the name of the church is Park Slope Christian Tabernacle. Okay. And. And so the co-founder is David, uh, Danny Sanabria, and the kids. I don't remember their name. I think it's Vanessa. Okay. Another one's called Nolo Brown, and Stephanie, I think, is the name. But these was just three. It all started with three kids, three people, and they, they were, you know, they were in one agreement. They believed that, you know, if we, if, if we can walk the street and start praying for the city of New York, things can change, and unity just started happening. I mean, all the youth pastors and pastors. You know, from all denominations, Baptist, Pentecostal, Presbyterian, right. Methodist, everybody just got together and said, yeah. we can do this. Yeah. And, and all that took place in, in New York That's right. at that time. That's right. Tell me what events were, were, was going on. What type of activity? Times was Square. Times Square, Grand Central Station, 42nd Street, where a thousand young people yeah. just got on their knees on Grand Central, 42nd Street. Man. It's a subway system. And people started looking at them God, and saying, what, what are you guys God, doing? Yeah. They just started praying. Yeah. A whole bunch of kids just got on their knees and started praying. Yeah. Can you imagine Grand Central Station, a bunch of youth just on their knees, and people are trying to get by? And I heard part of the message was that there were employees there working at the Grand Central Station. And one specific lady said she just got on her knees in the middle of being on the clock. Well, praise and, God. And, and, oh, and just saying, you know what? <laughs> and when the Holy Spirit comes, it's yes. like when it was... The, uh, the the building of Solomon's temple. Yes. And, you know, there was that humility, that, that humbleness that uh, took place among the people that they said to themselves, hey, everyone, you know, has to has to allow themselves to be humbled under the mighty hand of God. And, and those students did it. They stayed on their knees. Right. And, and, and the Lord, you know, ministered in that he place. And, and, I, and, and I, was, I was excited <laughs> to hear that. And I said to myself, why not? Why can't that happen, you know, in Jacksonville? Yes. And, and, and when uh, my brother Alan came with all of this idea, yes. he, he's really been the, the, the main event coordinator of this here in town. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and God has blessed him mightily, you know, in this area. And I just believe that, you know, the connections that we're starting to make and, 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 and building relationships with other pastors, with other youth pastors, uh, is, is really taking uh, momentum now. That's one word that he's recently uh, talked to me about right now, that, 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 we're, that we're accelerating, that things are happening, and the Lord is, is just blessing the movement. So. Amen, amen. And that's one of the things that, that uh, I want to do, because when I heard this story, when I talked to you, man, what a way to get across the airway, uh, uh, the, the, the youth. It's on fire for God. That's right. Man. You know, coming up against the enemy, that old right. devil thing he can, can make right. happen any time he wants. But God said, we have power too. That's and right. One thing, we got to speak it and release it. Amen. Not in my home, not in my house, not in my job, and not in my city. Amen. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Before, yeah. before we go any further, uh, how much time? We got a little time. Uh, we got like a minute left. Before we go any further, we got to take a quick break. So friends and family, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Um, God belongs in my city. We're going to go in the depth with this thing and, and get some dates and time. And, and you tell us how, what, if they want to be a part of it, you yes, let us know. Yes. So friends and family, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, and let's talk about it.